So, hi, welcome to the quick look at the Progress and Health Bar Pro asset. I'm just going to go over the features real quick so you can see how it behaves in action. So, let's start with this one. Um, basically, there's three different ways you can animate the bar. You can not animate it. Let's just see how that looks. That's just the upper one. Uh, you can animate it with a fixed time, which means every change is going to take the same amount of time. Uh, and you can animate it with a change speed, which means the longer the uh, the larger the changes, the longer it'll take. You can see this when I change this, uh, how they behave differently. We can look at the different ones, the fixed time and the change speed in more detail in the next slides. So uh, this is uh, just looking at the fixed time. So here a change takes 0.25 seconds, 0.5 seconds and one second. So you can see how they take the same time even if it's just a small change. Um, this is useful um, if you really want the same sort of visual effect, if you do a lot of fades or like effects in between, then this one's good because it always takes the same time. And on the other slide, we have a different versions of change speed. Here, the higher the number is, the quicker it'll change since the number reflects the speed. Uh, and you can see that short changes are done a lot quicker than long changes. Um, but these are for if you have uh, frequent changes to the to the v v volume and you want to have them always be sort of at the same time, these are just three different ways to animate the bar, which I think um, allow you to tweak it in the way you want it to. Uh, then this uh, color settings, uh, color settings are done by adding a color component to um, the objects you want to recolor. Um, you can set the default color in a component, which just uh, you can see here. There's one red and one green. But then there's something special, there's two wa ways, um, that's uh, the gradient you can add, uh, which are, you can see on the bottom. This, uh, in the gradient settings, you can either set the gradient to blend or to fixed, um, which is an actual gradient setting that has nothing to do with, uh, with um, progress and health bar process. Uh, on blend, uh, you can see it blend between the colors, and on fixed, it always f um, just changes hard between the colors. You can see this in action when I move these bars. You can see um, the, the default color staying the same, whereas the, the bars uh, changing color over time, um, either with a fix or with a soft blend based on the, the volume between. This is again something that gives you a lot of flexibility in how you want your bar to look like. I really like the gradient solution. Um, and I think I'd, I'd use it in a lot of cases, but sometimes it's not what you want, especially if you have your bar already pretty strongly colored. All right, what else do we have? You've got the option to flash, which is again some, some setting in the color view uh, component. Um, there's th uh, two options, flash on gain, flash on loss, and you can activate both. You can see them here in action. So when I lose, you see the flash and loss and the flash on gain and loss flashes. Um, when I gain, you see the gain and the gain and loss flashes. So this is sort of an um, option to highlight, oh yeah, there's something changing. If it's something relevant and important, the player needs to be aware of. You can change the duration of the flash. It's currently set to 0.5 seconds, so it's clear to see in the demo. But you can make it quicker if that's too slow. And then uh, we have the shadow, which I'm not sure if there's a professional term for it, so I just came up with the word shadow. Um, this Again, shadow gaining, shadow losing, and shadow of them both. Um, these are done by adding new objects for the shadows that are then add, um, displayed and hidden as needed. The shadow is sort of a preview of the, the value that'll, that the bar is going to move towards while it's moving. So if I'm going to click, you'll probably see and you'll notice, ah, this is what it is. So you can see there's shadows possible for both in the lowest one, and there's shadows just for either one of these if you want them that way. And I think that should be everything. Yep, yeah, that's everything for the quick look at the visuals.